we uh, we had a, had a really good day today. Uh, you know, it was uh, somewhat of an emotional day. You know, it's uh, the last time that these seniors are going to practice um, as Sun Devil players on this field. They'll always be Sun Devils. Uh, we talked to them about the commitment. I mean, you can tell by the noise behind me that our guys are pretty excited to celebrate with them. But, you know, again, just very uh, – at the end, I had the seniors stand up and I thanked them. I thank them on behalf of our coaching staff, the Sun, the fans, the Sun Devil Nation, uh, this university uh, for what they've done. And uh, they've done far more off the field uh, than I think that uh, you know, we've accomplished on the field. Uh, even though we fell short of our goal, we were awful close. But I'm very proud of these guys, especially Brandon McGee and Cam Marshall. And, you know, that, that senior bunch, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, uh, I know to us it doesn't, we do this every year and it didn't, but I'm telling you, I can, it still makes me, brings back the emotions to my last day walking off that practice field. I got to go play some more football, but it wasn't nothing like uh, being, a, being a part of your college or university. So, I'm very grateful to those guys. Question. Will Mary and Grice be at Saturday's game? Uh, you know, right now, I just, you know, out of respect for his family, you know, uh, you know he, he's, he needs to be with his family right now, and uh, we'll kind of play that day, day to day. I, I really appreciate uh, the Sun Devil Nation putting their arms around him. You know, we're family, and uh, there's a lot of things a lot more important than football. And uh, right now, the most important thing for him to be doing is be with his family. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll see how that progresses uh, throughout the week. So, uh, but it's uh, obviously, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family. And really, really grateful. I know he even spoke of that, of all of our fans and the support that they've showed. Uh, and um, uh, it's uh, obviously our, you know, it's a, it's a tough time for him and his family. But I, you know, out of respect for him, I just, you know, just leave it at that and uh, respect his privacy. And, and we'll see. It's there's, there's things a lot more important than football. How are you keeping the team focused in spite of this? Oh, I think uh, you know. I mean, our guys, uh, our guys understand. You know, he's we, one of our brothers is hurting, and uh, you know what you do is, uh, you know, uh, obviously we've been praying for him and uh, praying for him every day and for his family. And uh, when he before he left the other day, he to, to go home. He came to practice and wanted his, his his team to pray for his brother and for him, his family. And uh, uh, so uh, you know, we, we just pick up the slack. We're a family. And uh, that's one thing that I, I love about this place. I love about our fans. I love about this university is that, you know, uh, it, it's a family atmosphere. And so, uh, you know, that's what you do. You, there's nothing we can say to make it better. Uh, you, just, you just put your arm around them, you love and support them, and that's what our guys are doing. As a coach, how do you deal with it? Just, uh, and you talked about this a little bit, but how do you deal with it? Because you know, something like this can shake a football team a little bit. Yeah. Just what was your message to the team? You know, I mean, uh, you, you know, to, to really put their arms around Marion, you know, and just support him, and uh, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it, uh, it. It's always, you know, when things like that happen, it's you know, when it's somebody else, it really doesn't, you know, resonate with you like it, it you know, between you know, to me, he's one of my kids, and so they're hurting, I'm hurting, and uh, uh, you know, how we've uh, you know handled that is just is just supporting him, and uh, uh, you know, our guys, I'm really impressed with how our, our guys love each other, man. I think it's part of the relationships that we've built. And, uh, uh, but again, you know, like I say, it's, you know, the most important things in life, uh, you know, I think football emulates life, but it's obviously there's things that are more important. So, uh, uh, you know, we uh, as a team are going to, you know, dedicate this game to his brother and the memory of his brother. You know, Marion wants to do that as well. And uh, uh, we're going to put our arms around him when he gets back. Uh, and love and support him. There's nothing we can say to make it better. Uh, but, you know, I, going through these situations, I just think it's, uh, you know, it's just important just to be there. And, and uh, you know, and, 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 and especially, you know, initially everybody's there, but then, uh, you know, six months down the road. And there's, you know, you know and, and your life. So, you know, a lot of these young men out here have faced a lot of uh, great adversities and things like that in their life. And, and uh, you know, that's uh, that's why we educate them on how to respond to those. And uh, uh, But uh, we know Marion needs to grieve, and uh, he's, he's grieving right now, and so all we can do is put our arms around him.